Later this morning, John Knox Village will hold a ceremony at its brand new Veterans Memorial. KSHB 41 News reporter Claire Bradshaw joins us to share this story of how this came to be and you got to talk to some veterans too. Yeah, and that was really important to hear from them, you guys. So the new memorial was created by the Veterans Group at John Knox Village. I spoke with the men behind its creation. They say the service never stops. A few years ago, Army veteran Stephen Kildee was sharing stories with the fellow soldier when a veteran's widow shared her story. And I asked her if she'd, where's he at and all that stuff, and if she'd been to visit him. And I'm thinking, how many other spouses do we have here who have lost their husbands and they don't have a place where they could actually go talk to them? Kildee decided John Knox Village needed a memorial for its veterans and their families. That's where Air Force veteran Ronald Brohammer comes in. He helped Kildee get the idea off the ground at their monthly veterans group meeting last year. So I, I took a little sticky note and passed, I gave everybody a sheet of paper and I said, if you really want to do this, write down on this how much you would be willing to commit to it. And that day I got, a, I got pledges for $14,700. And I went then to the foundation and said, okay, we've got, we've got almost $15,000 here. We're ready to go. The memorial features the multiple military branches and their flags. And the main monument lists the wars and conflicts veterans were involved in. It also pays homage to the Gold Star mothers of those who died. John Knox Village's Director of Operations, Eric Scott, helped with the logistics. Looking at this memorial today, these three men see the collaboration it took to honor its residents. We're, we're all about community here at John Knox Village, and this is another gathering space and a, and a great way for the veterans to come together. Kildee says there are 162 veterans at John Knox and Lee Summit, with 1,252 combined years of service. On top of that, 78 widows of veterans. To Kildee and Brohammer, those statistics deserve some recognition in their community. The Army taught me how to become a person, how to respect other people, how to treat other people. It's a place to, to come and, and think about what, uh, what we have, what we've done, why it's, why, why it's here, why we're here. So in total, that veterans group raised more than $70,000 for the memorial in less than nine months. Today at 1111 at the John Knox Pavilion, they'll hold a Veterans Day ceremony and dedication for the new memorial. Kildee invites everyone to attend. He's even asked for a flyover from Whiteman Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed he gets it. It's so touching to hear that the, the widows come mm -hmm. as well to mark this day because obviously service members they love they can't be with anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's how this all started. He heard from a widow who said I can no longer go visit my husband because I live here at John Knox. Mm. He's in a different state. And so that's what that <sighs> purpose is. So they have a space to still go and remember their loved ones. Pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Claire, thank you.